So we're on one of the fire stations in Las Vegas, Randy with Fox Box, and we have we have Chris with Richardson General Contractors, and, and Chris is running this job. He's a project super, and, and uh, we're looking at different ways of, of putting the electrical into the into the ICF forms. So what's what do they do up there on this masonry? Okay, in the CMU, we're allowed to use plastic in a concealed concrete or mortar structure. So what we do is we uh, take a special box in the, in the uh, CMU, we use a, uh, a masonry box, which is deeper, and it's a single gang. Um, and then we run our, our plastic condo just like we would on our underground, and we run it uh, um, either underground or above, and then we stub it out. But wherever we stub out, we have to be uh, rigid. We cannot be plastic. So what we do is we convert to rigid 90s when we come out or below and then or when we come up above uh, slab when we got into our electrical rooms. What I did is I did the same concept but instead of using a masonry box because your foam is so much thicker um, I used the standard box. I made the whole uh, cut out on the, on the CMU boxes most of the box in the cavity but here I took a uh, PVC 90 and you're able to take a PVC 90 and cut it more and then glue into more of the radius So you can shorten up that radius to keep it within your wall Got it. And then uh, the only requirement is per code You're supposed to have about a half an inch between the conduit and the uh, form wall uh, So mud can get around it. Got so it. then we spaced it periodically to uh, keep the conduit away from the form and away from the uh, 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 rebar that's keeping that's running with it. We can cross rebar, but we can't run with it, so we keep a one inch distance or whatnot. Got it. And I did that, and then we just brace it just like I do in masonry walls, whether you're either using the EMT mm -hmm. or here we have a uh, uh, plastic conduit. Uh, brace it, and then we push it all the way through, and then we brace it on both sides. So when we pour it, so we have all of our conduit in the walls. What, what's it look like on the other side of the wall? It looks just like this without the box. We oh, just poke okay. a hole through it and tighten it up so it's, it keeps it in, in position on both sides. Uh, Let's go see that. Sides. So on the back side you just have the wire coming through with the, the conduit which spans your plastic web so it doesn't pull through your phone. Got it, got it. Great, great. Looks clean. Thank you. Nice job Chris.